Hey YouTube, if you search if you search this video, you probably have the new C8 and you're either trying to change the brake fluid to a race brake fluid or just do a service and change the brake fluid. Uh, today I have a 2023 2023 2600 mile Stingray with the Z51 package. Uh, my customer tracks this car. Uh, like I said, it's got 2,600 miles, and he already wore out the front brakes. On this one, we put gyro discs and some carbo techs on the front. Uh, I also did uh, brake system flush, put some uh, Motul 660. Uh, unfortunately, it went into a level 2 failure after I bled the brakes. On this one, you need a brake pressure bleeder and the GM scan tool as of right now our scan tools do not have the ability to perform the functions because this platform is so new I'm sure in a year or two it will be offered in our aftermarket scan tools but as of right now because the car is so new it's not available so you're definitely going to need the GM scan tool a brake pressure bleeding kit uh, and it's not something the average person can do if you're going to try to flush the brakes I recommend you take it to someone who does have the scan tool and the correct adapters to brake flush the system some of the tools you're going to need to bleed the brakes you're going to need a laptop with the GM software you're going to need a J2534 programming tool or the factory GDS tool you're going to need the pressure bleeder. This is the kit that I used. It actually comes with all the adapters. This is the one you use for the top of the master cylinder. This is what I used to suck the old fluid out of the vehicle. Because this car does not have a open reservoir on the brake system, when you try to suck the fluid out of the master cylinder, you can only get like an ounce because it's all sealed they don't want you you know sticking anything in there so what I did is I hooked up this vacuum uh, device onto the driver's side caliper removed the reservoir cap and just let this thing run for about five minutes so it sucks out all of the factory fluid after that I filled it with uh, the Motul 660 brake fluid I uh, then perform the procedures to bleed out the brakes So this is the uh, GM website. It's AC Delco TDS.com backslash Subscriptions, this is where you go to purchase the subscription. There's different uh, Options on the software that you can purchase uh, gives you the prices Kind of hard to tell there uh, but basically you're going to purchase the GM subscription. It's got the diagnostic subscription, the programming software if you need to do any flash updates on the vehicle. Uh, and if you have any questions about any of the procedures, you can actually purchase a three-day subscription for $22. And that will give you all the GM service information. Um, and then it gives you the prices on the different softwares. You can buy a three day, a one month, or a year subscription. And uh, you're going to use that in junction with the scan tool. On this one, there's a pretty lengthy process to bleed the brakes and get those warnings off. Uh, let me try to go over those with you here in just a second. So the first thing you're going to do is power down the vehicle, let it sit there for a couple of seconds. Disconnect the brake fluid level sensor, which is right there. Disconnect that. Then you're going to connect the uh, GDS to the car. Go into the brake system and deactivate the brake booster system. Once that is done, you're going to disconnect the battery, the negative battery terminal. 
you're going to attach the brake fluid uh, pressure kit to the vehicle. You're going to bleed the right front, left front, right rear, left rear. Once that is done, you are going to connect the negative battery terminal, connect the scan tool, run the brake hydraulic test. If it fails, then it's telling you to perform the automated bleed with the scan tool. If it passes, then you can reconnect the fluid level sensor and then turn the Turn the key on, engine off, and see if any of the brake warning lamps come on with the level one or the level two failure. If they don't come on, then you're done, and that part of it's done. If if it still comes up with a low uh, a level one or a level two, then you're going to have to re-bleed the brakes and then perform the automated bleed with the scan tool and then do it all over again. I hope this helps. Uh, there's not... I did search it on the internet to see if uh, if there's any videos on this one just yet and doesn't look like there is because the platform's so new. I hope this helps someone out. Uh, make sure you have the GM scan tool and a brake pressure bleeder before you begin this process or you will have to take this thing to the dealer. Thanks for watching.